Hey everyone! A while back, I made a video called Grow Your Own. I wasn't kidding. I have only two tomato plants I planted this year. I told you, you plant some tomatoes, by August you'll have more tomatoes than you can handle. This is an organically grown tomato. I grew it in, you know, not that I happen to wear this shirt, but Ag Natural Soil. It's only available in Northern California right now, but it's all organic. And this is an all organic tomato I picked from my garden today. Huh? Mmm, it's gonna be a little messy. There is no tomato with more flavor than one grown organically. I'm sorry, I'm chewing with my mouth full. Than one grown organically in your own garden. Pardon me, I'm gonna put a little. A little sea salt on there, cover the label, I don't want to do any product endorsement. Oh, I guess I already endorsed the Ag Natural Soil, sorry. Mmm. You can't get flavor like this in the supermarket. You can't even get flavor like this at the farmer's market. Pull it off the vine. Mmm. Delicious. Now a lot of people say to me, NorCal Corsello, you told me tomatoes were easy, and now I'm getting blossom rot. What can I do? Blossom rot is basically when a forming fruit turns brown on the tip. Happens with tomatoes, also certain types of peppers and such. And uh, by the time the tomato is fully formed, it's a mushy brown tip on the end of it. Most commonly occurs if you plant too early in the season. You know, if you plant around Mother's Day, it's going to differ in your region, but if you plant around Mother's Day, you're safe. Maybe even around May Day. But some people, they want to plant really early and have big plants. That's all fine and good, but watch out for blossom rot. One key to avoiding blossom rot is consistent watering. Consistent watering helps a lot, but you also don't want to overwater. You, don't, you want to make sure that top into soil. Stick your finger in the soil and uh, if it's still damp up to about there you're, you're watering too frequently. You, you do want the soil to go through a little drying out period. Now if you're watering regularly and you didn't plant too early and you still have blossom rot on your tomatoes, first of all remove the tomatoes that show signs of blossom rot and add a little calcium there's lots of ways you can do that. You can use a little bit of CalFOS. Um, there's even uh, liquid calcium supplements that are available. Check with your local nursery. And always go organic. I'll get into the details of that if you want on another video. I don't want to make this video too long, but mm, let me tell you, fresh organic tomatoes from the garden, unbeatable. So, a little too late to plant them this year, but next year, Take my advice, plant a couple tomato plants, and by August, you'll be having more tomatoes than you can eat. You'll be giving them away to your friends and neighbors. Anyway, I just thought I'd follow up with that. Thanks for watching.